everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today I am working on one of my monthly posts for Joanne. I have all sorts of beautiful, colorful rainbow fabrics. I can't wait to share what I'm working on. Stay tuned. In a world of Pinterest and social media, there is already fall projects, Christmas projects all over the internet. That's always a little bit hard for me, but I wanted to do a little bit of fall decorating without going too far. So what I've done is I've picked out all sorts of colors. I've tempered them a little bit so that they have a little bit more of those sort of autumnal tones. And I'm gonna take all of these and I'm gonna make them into something fun. So the first step is to figure out which colors I want and to sort of lay them out. So that's what I'm gonna do now. You'll notice that one of the ways I was able to get so many different colors is at Joanne, you can actually buy something called a fabric quarter and it's a quarter of a yard. It's I think $2, but then they also were having a sale on these packs of fabrics and I'm making leaves. So that's your first hint. I don't need much more than this. So I thought that these were really cost effective ways of getting a huge array of colors. Look at all those. You'll have to excuse my fingernails. Those were done by my son, Arthur. So I've laid out all the colors. I think this is a pretty good ombre. It still is definitely colorful. It still definitely fits my style, but I have muted it a little bit. In order to use the fabric for the wreath, I want it to be a little bit stiffer. And so I'm going to use this fusible sort of backing. It's really simple to work with. You can buy it by the yard and you just iron it on. And in order to save this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my leaf shapes first. And I thought about tracing the leaves or using my Cricut, but ultimately I need so many that I think it's gonna be easier if I just start cutting. But if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that being meticulous is not my thing. <laughs> Another thing that I am not telling you that I am aware of is that I'm gonna iron these leaves onto the fabric and then I have to cut the fabric out. So for example, something like that, when I trim the fabric, what I'm probably gonna do is be a little bit more careful. So I have one more chance to clean these up a little bit. I'm thinking that it will look sort of nice to have these leaves be all different shapes. So that's why I'm being a little bit haphazard. But if your vision for something like this is to have the leaves be identical, then by all means, you can set up a template, you can trace, you can kind of do whatever you want. I even thought about putting this onto my Cricut, but that felt like a step that I just didn't need to take. If you guys know of any tools that would have made this easier, is there like a fabric press? Is there anything that I could have used that might have made this faster? By all means, leave me a comment, let me know. It's a little hard to see, but I've cut out a ton of leaves. I've learned the hard way that I need something to protect my work surface from the heat. So I am using a wooden cutting board and all I am going to do is I am reaching for my fabric scraps and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get more than one leaf from each one, so I could have planned that better. This backing paper, one side has a little bit of a sheen to it that you can see in person, probably not in camera. And technically you're meant to put a damp cloth over it. I did a couple demos and I didn't really need it. And because this is just a craft project, I'm using my Cricut Easy Press. It is set to a wool setting. I have mine at like 380. And just for, I don't know, 10 seconds, I'm going right over it. And that seems to be adhering it just fine. So I'm gonna put that aside and then what I'll have to do next is cut out the leaf from the fabric. So I have to cut the leaves twice. Remember I said this is when I could clean up any rough cuts. So that is good to know. So I have all my leaves on my fabric. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna cut out each one. And again, if there's any parts of the leaf that I wanna clean up, this is the time for me to do it. I'm going pretty close to the fusing, but you don't have to be precise.
I have cut out all of my leaves and this is my wreath form. I'm not gonna be super, super particular about lining it up, but I do wanna just make sure I get the spacing right. And if I've done my math right, then I should be able to do about two colors of leaf for each section of the wreath. Okay, I think this will work. I'm gonna go plug in my hot glue gun and then we'll start the next phase. So happy with how this wreath came out. I love that I was able to use really basic materials cotton fabric, a hot glue gun, some backing, and it comes together to be such a colorful, fun wreath. It is the perfect way to transition into fall. I'm super happy with it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, everyone. I'm so happy with how this wreath...